we're a large college, which brings with it huge opportunities, but I think one thing we do particularly well is not lose sight of individuals. Looking at their individual capabilities, their individual strengths, the things they find more challenging, and working with them before they come here to help them make that right decision, but also working with them while they're here to help them make the best progress that they, they possibly can. What we do on a daily basis is making sure the students gain success and enjoyment and satisfaction from their studies. So really what happens is, the vast, vast majority of our role in the college is to make sure the students feel supported and all the curriculum stuff just happens in the background because that's easier to, to sort out really. So the priority is to make sure the youngsters are feeling secure, feeling familiar with the place, feeling supported because only then can they then focus on their subjects to really achieve their potential. I've never had a point where I've had a question, I never felt like I couldn't go talk to a teacher, especially you can email a teacher and just ask a question, or you can email your tutor and just ask a question. It's like it's where you get so much support and then within tutor we had support throughout for our UCAT, so we're never at a point where we like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to take. And they always give you feedback when you want it, so you always get that one-on-one -on -one time with your teachers if you choose to, if you ask them for that one-on-one -on -one time. Student Services is the frontline desk service to students on all issues that aren't academic. So it might be the practicalities of getting here, transport enquiries, it could be a locker, um, it could be emotional or financial support um, and students can access Student Services at, at any time during the college day. One of the big differences between school and college is that at college you have study periods between your lessons, you're not always in a class and uh, we're here to support students when they want to study outside their lessons. The step up from GCSE to A level you, can't, you don't really realise until you think yeah it's going to be fine then you get there and it's a massive shock so the library is always quite a, a nice place to be for that because you feel like you've got something, something to do when you're here so it's more productive. Uh, yeah, I did the extended project qualification and they're really helpful with that because they know a lot about referencing and the like, so they're good to go to for advice in that sort of area. Gives you a bit of a boost, doesn't feel like you're doing everything by yourself. We're also open uh, before lessons start in the morning, so we open at 8.15 and we're open until 7.30 in the evening, so long after lessons have finished. Um, and we find that quite a few students like to work in the evenings and even in the college holidays, um, some people might find they can't get their head down at home and they come in and work with us in the holidays. So within the study support department, we have support for students who have specific learning difficulties. We have support for students who have physical, sensory and medical conditions that may impact on their learning. We also have our study skills provision. It's really important for students to have fair access to the curriculum and there are occasions when adjustments need to be made for them um, within the classroom and we can provide that level of support. I'm partially sighted so um, I have a condition that means I can't focus well on the board so I have a note taker in lessons um, from various LSAs and the support here is invaluable I mean everyone's been so helpful and they're always willing to do anything you need to do like I need enlarging photocopies for some of my materials so that's been really useful. With my condition with mental health conditions it's, it's sometimes so hard because where there's bits put in place for some people there might be access ramps and things like there are in lots of colleges and lots of colleges may be able to organise it for you to be able to come out of lessons if you need to. Not all of them have this kind of space and this kind of setup and it means if you are struggling you've got somewhere to go that you know is safe and that you can get into contact with people be that counsellors or nurses or, or whatever who can really help you uh, when you're having a bad day. Sometimes students just find that transition really difficult. We've got different subjects, maybe more teachers for one subject. They need to be more independent learners and they find that hard. So coming to study skills can just help plan your time. Some of our students have long distances to travel, have very busy days and busy lives outside college and it's trying to help them manage their time, organise their time and get the most out of their, of their time with us really. So it is important that they get their study habits right at the beginning. Moving up to A level from like GCSE is obviously a massive step and you've got a lot of like study periods and a lot more time to like manage yourself so you have to kind of work out what you're going to do, when you're going to do it and you've got like study support skills that can help you with like your time management and things like that. 
Well, I think the students, when they're here, it's a journey. So obviously when they come in, they've already made uh, important decisions about A-levels and what they want to study. And then it's the supporting them once they're here on where can those A-levels take them and the range of options available. So it's coming in to access the professional advice and support that we have from the careers advisors, um, looking at the range of job opportunities that they can go into, um, and just kind of having that help and support that's available. Peter Simmons has always provided and valued the idea of counselling and support for students. It is, it is fundamental. It's a big transition from school. So um, we have up, up to eight counsellors at, at Peter Simmons College. Uh, we tend to do it's one-to-one -one counselling for students. Um, it can be transitional problems. Um, it can be study um, issues, but it's also to do with relational issues, issues at home that come up of all through their life's journey really at at college and, and it's to help them smooth their way really and support them throughout their, their journey here for the next two or three years. We have an open door policy. We want them to feel safe in their surroundings and that they're able to share any difficulties that they may have and also that they feel that they can come back. It's not always just a one-off um, appointment or meeting with a student. You want to make sure that if they are experiencing difficulties that you can see them along their journey, signpost them to other services and also that they feel they can come back with a positive outcome and say that they're feeling better and that their issues have resolved and that um, they're able to have a happy, positive time here at college.